is your child going to be starting at the preschool this year too, Mrs. Yamamoto? Yes, my son's name is Minato. What a cute little boy he is. It's nice to meet you. It was such good manners, I can't help but smile. He might be perfect as a husband to my little Paris. What? Oh, come on, it's just a joke. Sh sure. My name is Kanoko Yamamoto. I live happily with my husband Harutatsu and my son Minato as a working mom. My husband and I are both working full time. Every day is a very busy day as both parent and employee. Today was my son's first day at preschool, so I had taken the day off of work. The woman who spoke to me was Miss Yuri Tanaka, who has a daughter the same age as Minato. I didn't have a particularly bad first impression of her, but... You can just call me Yuri. Our kids are going to be in the same class too, so I'm sure we will be helping each other out a lot. That's true. It's very nice to meet you. And also, my husband is away on a long-term overseas business trip right now. I see. So that's the reason why your husband wasn't here today. At home, it's just me and Paris. Only the two of us. So I hope we can get along outside of the preschool too. Of course. Maybe we can all hang out sometime. That would be fun. You just get it, don't you? That being said, my husband and I are working on weekdays. So it would have to be a weekend. Otherwise, we can't make money time. Don't worry about that. If anything, we can relax more on the weekends, so that would be better anyway. <laughs> That's true. By the way, if you're wondering why my daughter is named Paris, I named her after the city in France that I've always dreamt about since I was a little kid. I think that's a great name. This is a global generation. It's important to have a beautiful name that won't be difficult overseas. She's just casually bragging, isn't she? Anyway, looking forward to the next few years of preschool with you. Y Yes, me too. According to Yuri, her husband was somewhere in Europe on a business trip. I didn't see the point in bragging to me in this day and age. Everyone has their own different and unique family lives, right? I guess I don't mind just talking to her. At the time, that's what I thought. After that, she kept digging into me, asking about my work and my salary, but I just made something up and ignored it. She basically forced me to exchange phone numbers with her, but I didn't think that this would lead to a big problem arising between us. I see, you're working overtime over there too. I'm sorry, there was some trouble at work today. It's okay, don't worry about it. Your company has gone into the busy season, and you've been working overtime non-stop too. I feel so sorry for Minato, leaving him alone all the time. My mom and dad spoil their grandkids so much. I think he's fine, but it would be nice for the three of us to have dinner as a family. I don't think I'll be able to prepare dinner in time when I get home after work. Do you mind if I reserve a bento box from Moni Robo Diner near the train station? Sounds good. Minato and I both love the fried chicken bento box from that place. I'll make the reservation during my lunch break. Got it. Thanks for everything, Kanako. I should be thanking you. This is a team effort. Work was getting really busy these days, so we were often asking Harutatsu's parents to pick up and drop off Minato from the preschool. However, we decided that we would always have dinner together as a family. So, as soon as I leave the office, I go straight home and we would surround the dinner table. Moni Robo Diner was a famous bento box place in town, and we've been going there for years. They always make fresh and hot bento boxes, and Minato loves them too. After working about one hour of overtime, I sped over to Moni Robo Diner like a space shuttle, received the bento boxes I had reserved, and was about to leave when I ran into a certain person in front of the shop. Kanoko, what a coincidence to run into you by the train station. I finally finished work just now, so I was here picking up some bento boxes for dinner. What about you, Yuri? Why are you here with Paris? There are a lot of families from preschool living around here, so I wanted to see what it was like. At this hour? With her child? Paris, this is Minato's mom. Uh Hello. You need to become good friends with boys like Minato, okay? Unfortunately, Minato is waiting for me at my in-law's house right now. That's a shame. I thought we could get close to you now. I'm in a bit of a rush, so I'm going to head out now. Oh wait, those bento boxes. Can you give them to me in Paris? 
Excuse me? Actually, I was so busy today that I didn't have time to make dinner. If I start now, it'll be too late. And Paris is also starving. In that case, maybe you can also buy a bento box from Moni Robo Diner. It's just there. I forgot my wallet, so I can't even get money out of the ATM. Isn't that weird to leave the house without your valuables? Please. I promise I'll thank you someday. Please. While holding Yuri's hand, Paris was staring right at me. She must be so hungry because her stomach was making noises that I could hear. However, I couldn't just say, sure, here you go. I gently refused and decided to tell her once again to go buy something herself. I'm terribly sorry, but I can't give you these bento boxes. Why not? Minato and my husband are both waiting for these. And also, how do I say this, but I can't look after another household. Come on, don't be like that. You know, in Japan, they say it's important that we all have the spirit of helping each other. I must decline. If you're thinking of Paris, then please buy it with your own money. You don't have to say that much, just over some bento boxes. But in the first place, I don't really understand why you're out at this time without your wallet on you. Usually you would go back to get it or you would give up and go back home. Ugh. I would be more than happy to join you for lunch with the other moms or to play at the park with the kids, but that and this are two completely different things. Whatever, just because you're a working mom acting so big. What? You say you're so busy that you can't cook, but I bet you're just lazy and trying to get out of it with those bento boxes, aren't you? That's not what I meant. I forgot my wallet. That wasn't my fault. Just because you treat us one time, it's not like something bad is going to happen to you. How needy is this woman? Fine, whatever. I'll just give Paris some cup noodles or something. If she becomes malnourished, it's all your fault. That is ridiculous. Come on, Paris. You're going to have to deal with Mew Noodle tonight. Yes, Mom. Paris waved goodbye to me as she was pulled home by Yuri. Watching her, she seemed to be scared of Yuri, which stuck with me. But anyway, I needed to get home quickly for my beloved husband and son. I raced home as fast as I could. A few days later... Mommy, I want to have the bento box from Moni Robo Diner. Minato, you've become a captive of Moni Robo Diner. <laughs> the fried chicken from that place is so good. I know, right? Mommy loves it too. Then why not? Let's stop by on the way home today. I'll reserve the bento now. Yay! Just in case, I need to ask your daddy which one he wants to eat. What? You already handed it over. Yes. Someone from your family came by already, and I handed them two fried chicken bentos and one meat patty bento. Wait a minute, please. I didn't ask anyone to pick up my order for me. What? Could it be that it was a woman with a little girl about preschool age with her? If I recall correctly, it was a female customer, and I believe she was calling her daughter Paris. That is a complete stranger. She stole the bento boxes that I had reserved. I, I'm so terribly sorry. We will make you new ones immediately. Please wait a few moments. That woman, she's really crossed the line now. Yuri, how did you know that I had reserved the bento boxes today? What a rude message out of nowhere. I heard everything from the employee, that you lied that you were in my family. Can you not message about these little things? I'm in the middle of eating with Paris. Please answer my question. When I went to pick up Paris from the pre school, I overheard your conversation with Minato. Are you telling me that you were eavesdropping on us? I must say, I don't admire how loudly you talk. You never know who is listening to you. <laughs> I don't think I was speaking loud enough for anyone to hear us. Anyway, we're enjoying the fried chicken bento and the meat patty bento. And maybe I'll have the last one for lunch tomorrow. Are you kidding me? Please stop messing around. This is harassment. This is your fault for ignoring a hungry child. I'm sure you know that cup noodles isn't enough nutrition for a little child. That's not the problem here. Don't you worry, I made sure to pay for the bento boxes. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with this person? How self-centered can you be? I can't stand her. I couldn't believe what Yuri was saying, and I was so angry that it felt like a volcano was going to erupt. The employee that had helped me today only started recently as a part-timer, and it made me feel really bad for her. Is that so? Well, please give her my regards. <laughs> 
You are the root cause of all of this. Kanoko, you don't need to get so mad. You're going to have them remake the bento boxes anyway, right? What you're doing is wrong. Ugh, stop nagging. You're so annoying. How pathetic that you're getting so angry over a cheap bento box. You don't think you've done anything wrong, do you? Well, yeah, because we're fellow moms. Of course we're going to help each other out, right? <laughs> If you think you're going to be forgiven just for paying the money, you're very wrong. You're so annoying. Stop getting so worked up over one $5 bento box. Well then, why don't you pay for it yourself? I don't mean to be rude, but if you can't pay for a $5 bento box, then you must be in a pretty bad situation. Sh shut up! Don't you worry, Paris is very happily eating the meat patty bento box. Unbelievable! I'm sure they're remaking them for you right now, aren't they? As a mother to Minato, you should show some kindness in your heart and let this go. That isn't something for the perpetrator to say. Ah, oh, this is such a huge pain, so we're going to leave this incident here. Talk to you later. In the end, I wasn't able to get in touch with Yuri after that. The shop said they wouldn't charge us for the new bento boxes they remade as an apology, but it wasn't 100% their fault either, so I decided to pay for the bento boxes. They gave me discount point coupons for next time and handled the situation kindly. When I told Harutatsu about this, he was also furious, but remained calm and said that unless something really troublesome happens, we won't get involved with them anymore, and we ate the bento boxes as a family. I took a bath and got to bed, but the next morning, I was woken up by multiple missed calls. You horrible woman! Are you kidding me? You better take responsibility for this! Oh jeez, my eardrums are going to burst. Yuri, what on earth do you want from me this time? Paris went into anaphylactic shock, and last night she was sent to the emergency room in an ambulance. What? That girl has a severe allergy to eggs, and if she eats just one bite, it becomes a disaster. If it were a few minutes later. And how is Paris now? Is she okay? Thanks to the quick response of the paramedics, her life was saved. Is that so? I'm glad. You're glad? This is all your fault because of those bento boxes that we got from you paris was taken to the hospital apparently there was egg in the meat patty do you have any idea how much the doctors and nurses yelled at me please calm down first of all i didn't know that paris had any allergies second i didn't give you those bento boxes you stole them from me you're the one that fed it to her yuri i'm going to be very straightforward with you you're the one at fault here yuri you're the worst are you trying to pass the blame to me thank goodness that paris is okay but i think it's you yourself that put your daughter in that place what did you say it's very common for there to be eggs and meat patties why didn't you double check before you gave it to her well that's because i thought just a little bit would be fine perhaps your knowledge is lacking about food allergies uh if you don't take anaphylactic reactions seriously it can cost a life in the worst case scenario you could have shut up shut up this is all your fault all of it yuri's voice is so loud that i'm getting a headache hey are you listening instead of of yelling at me please go be by your daughter's side whatever i'm definitely going to sue you for this i'm going to hire a lawyer and you're going to pay so you better be ready you better not run away yuri left me with this threat or words of intimidation and hung up the phone i was going to block her last night and had completely forgotten at the same time now that she was showing her true colors i was also terrified because she spoke so aggressively i knew i couldn't ignore this so i got out of bed and i spoke to harutatsu about it and he told me what we should do next we should also get a lawyer ready you're right we can't just sit by and let it happen but wow I didn't know there was somebody so crazy in the moms at rookie preschool. Yeah, at first, I thought she was just someone who likes to brag a lot, but I really didn't think she was somebody that would take it this far. We need to protect Minato and make sure that nothing happens to him. Of course. About three days after that, at night, the doorbell rang to our home, and when I opened the door, there was Yuri, down on her hands and knees. I couldn't understand what was going on, and without thinking, I retreated. I am very sorry about everything that happened this time. This is completely all my fault.
fault. Please forgive me. Yuri, why are you at my house? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, you must be Miss Yuri Tanaka. It seems like my wife has gotten to know you well through the preschool. You're Minato's dad. I've heard that Paris has a very severe egg allergy. Despite knowing that, without any hesitation, you let her eat the bento box, didn't you? N no, that's not it. I had no intention whatsoever of putting my daughter in danger. Luckily, our son doesn't have any allergies like that. However, I do believe I understand how dangerous it can be. I... I genuinely thought that a little bit would be fine. I knew what anaphylactic shock was, but Paris insisted that she wanted to eat it. It is your duty as a mother to protect Paris. Uh... Even if it was your favorite food, if you take one wrong step, then you won't be able to turn back. Because Paris just loves meat and all meat dishes. I think it's great for her to eat meat. However, if there's egg within that, then you should be avoiding it, right? Well, that's... In meat patties and tonkatsu and other meat dishes, it's very common for there to be eggs used. The next time Paris says she wants to eat it, what do you think you should do? I came here to apologize. Why should I have to be lectured? Depending on the effort by the parents, you can make all of those dishes without using any eggs. How am I supposed to cook every single day? I can't! If that's too difficult for you, then you can always discuss it with the employees and have them prepare it accordingly. Uh, uh. If you hadn't pretended to be our family and stolen our bento boxes, none of this would have happened. What? Yuri, please take a good hard look at your actions and think about it. I didn't. Wrong. What? I said I didn't do anything wrong. What is this? Are you trying to curse me? We are not cursing you. We're just saying this for your own sake. That is none of your business, you hypocrite. Hypocrite? Perhaps she really didn't like that my husband was reasoning with her, and Yuri was once again angry at us. We really didn't expect it, and we were stunned. I can only imagine that Paris loves her mom and always wants to be with her. She must have eaten the bento box given to her without suspecting anything. When I think about that, it makes my heart hurt so deeply. I'm going to say something very harsh, but there's a probability that your actions could be considered a crime. Are you stupid? <laughs> I paid for those bento boxes, so there's no way I'm going to be arrested just for stealing your reservation. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm talking about. This is about letting your daughter eat something knowing that she has a severe allergy to it. Always lying. Everything you're saying is just nonsense, isn't it? As an example, I know somebody who was forced to eat something that they were allergic to by their senior colleague. And after he was carried in an ambulance, he sued them. What? Really? This is a matter of life or death, so I'm sure you can't just say you didn't know and let it pass. No, I didn't know anything about getting arrested. I feel the most bad for Paris. If her mom told her that she can eat something, she would probably happily eat it. Wait, I take back what I just said. Let me apologize once more. It's almost impressive how much she flips back and forth. What? When I told him our daughter passed out, he said he was going to cut his business trip short and come home. If my husband finds out about this, he's going to divorce me. Well, of course, because his beloved daughter's life was put at risk. If anything, hopefully, divorce is all that it ends in. What's that supposed to mean? In the event of a divorce, it would be your responsibility. In that case, the settlement fee and child support fees would probably be collected from you. Her entire face is pale. She really has no idea how to think of anything besides herself. My husband and I stood there, not knowing what to do with Yuri's incoherent words and actions. In the end, she started bawling, screaming, please forgive me. I mean, she was a helpless case. I don't feel any sincerity for you. If you are saying you're going to get a lawyer, then my husband and I will take action. Please, please just don't make a lawsuit. If I get divorced and they take away my custody, I can't even get money from my husband. You blackmailed me, you know. You took our bento boxes and then berated me for it. L like I said, I'm apologizing. And also, I feel the most sad for Paris. I'm sure she is still shocked in the hospital right now. Uh. When you were walking around Moni Robo Diner that day, it's because you were trying to find someone to treat you to food, wasn't it? Uh. The nail on the head? Because, because... I don't have any intention of getting involved in your family affairs. So after this, you can talk to your husband about it yourself. 
No, anything but a divorce. I won't be able to live wealthy like this anymore. I don't mean to be rude, but why did you need to cheap out on a $5 bento box? You live a plenty affluent life, don't you? That's well. Don't tell me that you use the living expenses from your husband on yourself. Surely not, right? Uh. Ah, <sighs> this is pointless. Please leave us now and go back to your home. After this, I don't think we will ever speak directly to one another. No, no! Yuri's husband arrived back to Japan much sooner than planned. He came to our house and got down on his knees, saying that he would definitely make her take responsibility. In the end, Yuri was divorced by her husband. Of course, it was her responsibility, and I heard that the husband was given full custody of Paris. And, just as we predicted, Yuri was feeding her child only poor and low-cost meals, all while taking herself out to high-end restaurants and treating her mom friends to brag. Even though I had imagined this to be the case, knowing that it was the truth was still a big shock. Currently, Paris has transferred to a different preschool and she is living in a new town with her father. On the other hand, Yuri is in a hell of payments between the settlement fee and the child support fees. She was, of course, kicked out of the house and apparently she is living at the factory dorms while working day and night around the clock. Yuri's incoherent actions were truly unstable and disastrous. I don't want this world to be a place where honest people lose, but unfortunately, there are still many people in this world who will only focus on justifying their own actions. This incident really made me feel that. In order to protect myself and my family, I'm going to keep working hard to be an honest and strong mother.